The success of the men's futsal program has definitely gotten people's attention from officers to inmates and now the female prison population is set to benefit from the holistic development approach occasioned by the futsal carrot. Stop serving your First of all, let your sentence And with that pep talk, it was time to show the ladies what they were there for, futsal 101 or the basics of the sport. They benefited from the experience of the men who are seasoned veterans of the program, having gone through the same kind of indoctrination months ago. So they are well qualified to pass on the know-how to the young ladies. I love love football and when I get interested to this new thing called futsal, I love it more because it helped me to learn this up here. Normally when I get kicked down, I want to get up and fight. And if you're not fighting, you're take your kick and give yourself and continue to run. And I want to say, Mr. Rowan, Mr. Taylor, and the officers who be part of it to bring it to this today, I want to thank them. And the sisters who want to learn the game, it's a very nice game, but it's a very disciplined game. So we get a hard bounce, go vex and trump, if you go into another thing for sale. It will need love and unity. That will, bring, that will bring everybody together. One Saturday. Having spent a lot of time in the care of the prison officers, Natasha couldn't help but recognize one person in particular who made it possible for all of them to be exposed to the futsal program, among other things. She spoke of the assistant superintendent, Jacob. What she has done to our father, our commissioner, is made a legacy. And I've been saying this for all the years. A lot of people have passed through the system and failed in making a legacy. And like Nelson Mandela, when you leave, when you die, and you go, somebody must say, you know, I remember under somebody way, this is what took place, and this is history in making. Before too long, the ladies were on show as they encountered their first formal set of futsal training, going from the way to properly shoot the ball, to passing the ball and controlling it, dribbling and turns, and everything they would need to become better at the sport. After all, this is the dream of Clayton Morris, to arm them with the tools to become better human beings. Love is the answer. This program objectives to provide MSP Food Stars members with more confidence to continue on the narrow way to true success. To share goodness and knowledge with the rest of the prison population through this exciting game called futsal. To foster long lasting friendship between rival gangs. To provide hope and another avenue for fellow inmates who lost hope in the system. It's too early to assess the ladies, but given the enthusiasm and discipline shown, it won't be too long before the ladies would be challenging the men to a game of futsal for a lot more than just bragging rights. Oscar Mark, C Sports Extra.